In this video, we will discuss about two special joining techniques called brazing and soldering. And also we will try to understand their similarities and dissimilarities from the traditional welding techniques. Okay, so in brazing, uh, we join two metal parts without melting the fanging surfaces of the base metal. Instead, we have a filler rod which is melted using the uh, welding torch. The molten metal then flows in between the two edges which are to be joined and finally a permanent joint is made. A very important feature of brazing is that the melting temperature of the filler metal should always be greater than 450 degrees centigrade and less than the melting temperature of the base metal. Now to understand the joining uh, by brazing we have to have a clear understanding of the capillary action. We know that due to the combined action of cohesion, adhesion and surface tension, liquid always tends to flow through the narrow passages as compared to large or wide passages. This is why during brazing a very small clearance is provided in between the parts to be joined. This clearance again should not uh, should be very um, should be optimum so that the liquid flows smoothly without any, without any obstruction. This uh, technique has some merits as well as demerits. Now let us discuss a few of them. We can uh, join similar as well as uh, dissimilar metals using brazing at a very high cycle rates the, um, since brazing is a very fast process. Okay, then in case we need to join uh, thin sheets, then brazing is more preferable since welding may damage uh, the, the thin parts. Also, uh, the jo um, joint areas that, that are inaccessible by traditional welding process can easily be welded by brazing due to capillary action. However, the brazing technique uh, is uh, generally weaker. I mean, the, the, the brazing joints are weaker than the traditional welding process. Okay, now after brazing, we have another similar process called soldering. If you visit any mobile or, or electronics uh, repairing shop, you will you can easily find uh, the application of soldering. Here, what we do is that with the help of a solder, we melt the filler metal, which is made of thin, uh, I mean, which is made of tin or lead based alloys. This application is similar to brazing with only one difference that the filler metals are so selected that uh, they should have a lower temperature, I mean lower melting temperature. Finally, let us try to compare these uh, brazing and soldering with the traditional welding process. In welding, the fanging edges of the base metal is fused, whereas in brazing and soldering, only the filler metal is fused. Next comes uh, with respect to the power requirement, we know that welding requires much more power um, as compared to brazing and soldering. Next, the third point, due to the uneven temperature dif um, distribution in the base metals during um, uh, during melting, the residual stresses are formed in, in welding. This problem is not seen in soldering and brazing since we since, since uh, brazing or soldering we do not melt the base metal. Okay, so now uh, if if we talk about the strength of the joint then it is highest in the welding followed by brazing and uh, weakest in soldering and finally thin sheets if we need to weld it can be joined very easily by brazing and soldering which are relatively difficult by traditional welding welding gas welding or, or arc welding okay so this was all about the brazing and soldering if you have any doubt please ask in the comment section for more such informative videos please subscribe magvidya thank you